Hello, welcome to GyanExpert.com. Here I am going to show you how you can integrate ActiveMQ with Oracle. Let's start with Eclipse to create a new Java project. as demo 1 change the GRE to Java 1.5 as Oracle 11G only supports up to Java 1.5 so, the project is created for our Java project Now I am going to create one folder named as jars where I am going to put my required supporting active MQ jar files and it has jars next just pop the required jar file that is active MQ all open for three dot jar file of it and paste into the jars. Next I am going to use it in my build path so right click on it and this is build path. That's it. Now I'm going to create required our files. First class is uh, sender. This is a simple Java class file which connects to the active MQ server and sends the JMS message. As a send message method, it sends the message and uh, here are the connection parameters, user host and tuning where it is going to push the message. Save it. Now I'm going to create another Java file which will connect to Oracle and sends the update of this previous class file resource name it as Oracle JMS sender in the same package create a one aesthetic void message method as send message which will in turn call the MQ sender class file send message That's all what you need. Now I'm going to build it, in build, and export it as jar. Export it. Type jar. Select a jar file. Accept the default settings. Provide the location of the jar. I'm going to name it as uh, active client dot jar. And check that's going to exclude the errors. That's it. The jar is created. Now I'm going to connect to Oracle to grant the required permission to my user. I'm 
me as the permission I need. So I need to run the Java and create a socket connection. Right. Yeah. Let's it as username. That's it. Access are granted. Now I'm going to load my jar file into the Oracle for that I need a command prompt. Run the command prompt and use load java command to load my jar files. There. This is because uh, I'm in the wrong folder. Just change the directory to the correct folder. D drive. So we can move on. And run again the command. We have successfully loaded all the classes in the program. I'm going to create one new table on which I will put the trigger whenever it inserts. We are going to insert one record, it will call the procedure which in turn puts the message in queue. Add two fields in the table. I'm going to create the procedure. It will call the Java class methods. And that's it. This is what you need. Thank you.